You are about to meet a group of people who could, someday soon, protect our country. Tonight, they're a step closer to being accepted into some of the most elite and prestigious military academies in the world, thanks to a nod of approval that is tough to get. WYFF News Force Gabrielle Komarowski tonight from Henderson County is all new at 6. I mean, he called me the night, um, night before Thanksgiving, so we had a really good Thanksgiving that year. It was a good time. Madison Cawthorn's life could soon change dramatically. I want to make sure that other generations coming before me, they can have a great time and just really enjoy life as much as I have. So I want to protect and preserve that freedom for everyone. He has applied to the U.S. Naval Academy. you got to do a bunch of essay questions and just general information. Recommendations are important. I just want to say on behalf of uh, the United States, uh, congratulations on North Carolina's 11th District Congressman Mark Meadows is helping. He nominated Madison and these other Western North Carolina students to U.S. service academies. Each one of them had uh, really a, a different uniqueness about them in terms of something that set them apart, either a standard they had set or, or some area that they excelled in. The congressman handpicked the local students and congratulated them. It's a proud day and I'm very excited for him. And their parents. It's a female's world too, I believe. And Abby Taylor is the only woman nominated. She has applied to the Naval Academy. My father's in the Army. Both my grandpas were in military, and I always had a desire to serve. The congressman's nomination doesn't guarantee acceptance, but it sure helps. The greatest leaders of our nation come, come from these academies. Future leaders with roots right here at home. Gabrielle Komarowski, WYFF News 4, Hendersonville. The schools include, of course, the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, the Air Force Academy, and the Naval Academy as well. The students expect to learn if they're accepted early next year. And you may know this as well. Members of Congress nominate a small group of people to the U.S. Service Academies each year.